A narrow street in the old Medina of Marrakesh. This traditional Moroccan house, or Riyadh, was built some 500 years ago and features a very efficient cooling system. As global temperatures continue to rise, there's much to learn from the building techniques used here. And amid the ongoing energy crisis, the construction industry is taking inspiration from the power-saving characteristics of these ancient homes. The looking after the environment is at the center of this architecture and the way of building for a number of reasons. One is the materials used. We use materials that are, you know, we use uh, compacted earth. And compacted earth, in the old days, they used to put plank of wood and a plank of wood, and the walls, sometimes they, have, they are one meter thick. And then they compact, they compact, they do the compacting of the earth, and that's an isolation system, it's isolating. So, in the winter, it's warm inside, and in the summer, it's cool, cool, cool. It's cool, it's cool in, inside. As things heat up and energy costs rise, the thick walls and good airflow in these riyads offer a more environmentally friendly way of dealing with climate change. I think what's particularly interesting about riyads is the symbiosis of history, heritage, specifically Islam, Islamic heritage in this part of the world, and this idea that still quite simplistically they they conserve energy and need very little energy put into them so you know i mean energy bills in london are huge and especially with energy prices the orientation of this new house built outside the city was carefully chosen the walls are 50 centimeters thick and the ceilings are curved to facilitate airflow. This is a technique, a little bit of earth casting that we experimented with using local soil with a small dose of stabilizer. Because today this house, for example, it doesn't have the objective of being 100% eco-friendly. We're still using existing materials because it's a question of cost, but it aims to be passive. Environmentalists would no doubt agree that this type of passive cooling in modern houses would go some way to mitigating the impact of climate change.